The National Integrity System Assessment Papua New Guinea 2021 report has made five recommendations to address integrity gaps identified through its review of 14 national integrity pillars. The national integrity pillars are national institutions mandated to uphold the national integrity system such as law enforcement agencies, the public and private sector, anti-corruption agencies and the media. In the NISA report, only five of the 14 pillars of integrity scored sufficiently due to the country's existing laws. The five pillars being the judiciary, procurement, anti-corruption agencies, ombudsman and the media. Keynote speaker at the summit was Prime Minister Marape. It is not the government's role to come and establish for you what you should do if you are confronted with a choice of doing right or wrong. But the government can build a system that provides the guide rails and allows you to adapt a standard of behavior that is dignified and right. It is really intimate on all individuals to build a system that works for yourself, that works for organizations. The NISA report finds that the 14 pillars still fall short of having both an adequate legal framework and actions in place. TIPNG's board chair Peter Aitzi said the assessment was based on information collected through extensive research, interviews with anti-corruption experts and in consultation with 28 agencies in Papua New Guinea. Through the NISA report, TIPNG has identified five areas of action for the next five years. The recommendations include the call to prioritize national consensus, implement electoral laws, protection of the media, and utilizing the National Anti-Corruption Task Force to coordinate anti-corruption partnerships, to name a few. The summit started off with the first panel discussion on prosecuting corruption and will end tomorrow. Mary Stella Kelaton, TV1 News.